But is it actually recording? Okay, yeah, there we are. Um, what's up, everyone? So in this video, I just had a really a bunch of announcements to make. Little ones, no content. Don't expect, expect high quality content here. Um, but just a couple things that people have been asking me about or things that are worth bringing up. Uh, actually, first, I'm gonna change this background. I don't, sort of bad color, but um, you know. Anyway, so um, let me go ahead and say uh, I've actually started posting videos again. I mean, I've been in this uh, mindset where I've been posting like one, one a week or sometimes one every two weeks and eh, that's over. I now have a to-do list uh, and you will see that I actually have many, many videos planned for this week, next week, the week after, stuff like this. I now have a to-do list, uh, lukesmith.xyz slash to-do. Um, and uh, basically this is just a way of me keeping myself publicly accountable so I actually get stuff done. Um, so these are sort of my ideas for what I'm going to do um, just in the future if you want to know. If you have any suggestions, just email them my way. But I wanted to do this just sort of keep myself on task just because I've been posting so much less recently. Uh, I sort of feel bad about it. It's been a sort of busy semester but sort of not busy enough to drive me on. Uh, but now that it's, you know, sort of closing, I actually, you know, now that I have less time because the semester's ending uh, and everything's all busy, uh, I feel like I can do more on YouTube. I don't know. Psychology is weird. I, I don't understand. But um, so, yeah, I got a couple things out um, and I'll have a whole lot more out in the uh, next week or so. Um, of course, this isn't entirely ironclad. I might have to move some things, uh, delay some things or, of course, add more stuff on. Um, so that's my to-do list. Um, a lot of people, given the last video I put up, which was on uh, decentralizing the internet and alternatives to YouTube and stuff like that, a lot of people asked me, you know, why don't you have a bit shoot? Um, and it is in, as it ends up, as I found out today, I actually do have a bit shoot, and I now have um, the link to it in my website, so you can check that out. Um, I say I only just realized today because I actually made this account a month or so ago and gave it my YouTube account link. And I didn't think that would do anything, but apparently it's been posting uh, like my videos and stuff. So you can now watch me on BitChute. All the recent stuff's going to be up there. Um, just if you're the kind of guy who doesn't really like using YouTube or whatever. Uh, of course, you know, I'm not telling you to move to BitChute full time. I'm just saying the options there. I mean, you know, I totally love getting all the, the views on YouTube or whatever. It's my pr primary platform just because because of networking effects for now. But just know that BitChute is out there for those people who want to use it. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's that. Um, you know, and of course, still not going to monetize this thing. But uh, that said, you know, I'm very much against monetization, putting ads on my videos or even worse. God, don't you hate it when you turn on a tech video and he's like, we're going to talk about X. But first, I got to shill for this product. Um, so never going to do that. Shoot me if I ever do that. Um, but that said, I totally appreciate people who have people have been sending me. No, I, I don't want to say a good bit, but, uh, you know, some support on PayPal, which does make a difference. It's not that much, but, you know, whenever you get 20 bucks from someone, you're like, oh, oh this can make a big difference. Uh, you know, even, you know, relatively small amounts like that. I'm not expecting people to pay my rent at this point. But um, that said, I do have a Patreon now, which I actually made like a month or two ago. <laughs> but I only just realized maybe I should start actually posting stuff on this thing. Um, so I'm going to be posting my videos and stuff, uh, but also have, you know, con I'll probably do a video on this altogether, but I'll go ahead and say now, if you have any ideas for the kind of exclusive content that I can offer on Patreon, shoot ideas my way. I'd just be interested because I do want to sort of, you know, have a tier system where higher payers get, you know, more stuff and stuff like that. But thanks to you guys, um, you know, 10 of you guys who have at least, uh, you know, volunteered the pledge, even without me advertising it. I appreciate that. I should probably, you know, considering it's money, I should probably, you know, put it out more obviously, but, you know, whatever. Um, so I'll do a video on that later. Um, aside from that, Lin uh, sort of Linuxy stuff, or at least workflow stuff, you'll notice I'm no longer actually using, well, you might not notice, but I'm using Pale Moon right now, Pale Moon. Uh, and that's just because the, the big changes in Firefox finally came to pass, and made everything unusable in a lot of my old uh, add-ons and my custom CSS no longer work in Firefox. And, you know, a lot of people have asked me, are you going to do another video on Firefox? Just sort of figuring that stuff out and rejiggering it. And originally I was, but I think I'm just going to use Pale Moon. So Pale Moon, for those of you who don't know, I assume most people do, but it's Pale Moon's just like classic Firefox. 
um, uh, which runs so much faster. It's just such a br better browser. Uh, so I'm going to be using this. If anyone wants to update my old uh, user CSS for Firefox for the new updates, feel free to do that and email it to me and I'll publish it. But I think I'm going to stick for, with uh, Pale Moon because it's just a, a better experience and stuff. Um, and, uh, oh, yeah, the other thing people have been talking about, right? So look at the CPU temperature up there. What is that? 90, 90 Celsius. Jesus, that's enormous. Um, so this, I'm running my, I'm using this X220 again. Uh, I've been going, my, my X200 is basically in the shop. Um, I was having some kernel problems. I don't, well, actually, I think it has to do with my ThinkPad dock. I, I couldn't quite troubleshoot it. So I just sort of switched to my X220, which I've been using as, as my main machine for the past uh, couple weeks, I guess. Really just because I've been too lazy to figure out whatever's wrong with X200. But um, yeah, people are going to give me a, a whole bunch of shit for using, you know, a not Libre booted device. But, you know, whatever. Uh, it's enough for now. Still waiting for that Libre boot, Leah. Still waiting for it. Um, but anyway, uh, so yeah, uh, I feel like there's something else I was supposed to mention. Uh, probably, eh, it's all right. I'll put it up later uh, if I remember it. Um, so anyway, uh, check out the the uh, to do list if you want to know what I'm doing or email me ideas. Uh, go ahead and throw your support on Patreon or uh, I'll, again, I'll do a video on it later. But if you have ideas for ways for me to, you know, have a have a have a nice little uh, scheme going on Patreon, feel free to uh, shoot the ideas my way. I'd appreciate it. But anyway, this has been a nice little meta video, so I hope you guys, uh, I don't want to say you enjoyed it, but I hope you were informed, and I hope it, uh, hope you keep watching. So, I'll be putting stuff out really soon, so see you guys next time.